hey good morning friends so welcome to my channel so today topic is uh, I'm going to cover a lot of topic in this particular series so to start with we'll see how the we can do the parallel execution in Cucumber and after that we'll see one of the very popular reporting in Cucumber and after that one of the important topic which I'm going to discuss in the series is accessing different project feature or step file suppose you have two different project right a and b and you have written some code in particular project and you want to access that particular features in all the code in project b so how you can utilize the uh, project a features right that is very important and uh, suppose you have a parent child kind of uh, hierarchy then in that particular kind of cases it's going to be very very helpful okay so after that the fourth topic we are going to discuss is uh, passing the data from one project to another right it's it's a standard topic it can be used anywhere in any java project and we'll see in the cucumber how we can pass our one data present in one project and we need to access that particular project that particular data in another project okay so two projects are completely different right there is no relation there is no parent child nothing there are two different independent projects okay and at the end we'll see how we can upload our jar generated jar to the nexus repository okay so that you can uh, it's widely using we have nexus repository there are different kind of repositories available so one of the most popular is nexus right so we'll see how to set up that thing in this particular series okay okay so guys so let's start with first one parallel execution in cucumber okay so before starting to that let me give you a brief uh, idea because i heard a lot of people get confused in cucumber that there are different different branches are there in cucumber and which one to use every a uh, lot of people are confused about that okay so see the first one is the info queue if you go to the maven repository if you search for the cucumber you will get two branches so first one is info queue okay so this is the old one okay so if you are starting with a new cucumber project never use this one okay look at here it's info.queue the last release is the november 2019 they are still releasing the versions but it is kind of deprecated and you can read the message here this artifact was moved to io.cucumber okay so this one is the latest one okay so go for here search for io.cucumber and then click on cucumber.java right so this one is the latest cucumber which you need to use okay so don't go for the old one switch here if you have already used using the old one okay so this is the site cucumber.io okay this is the official site of cucumber okay so don't get confused okay so i cleared you so what is the difference so if you google it you can see that uh, info.qq uh, there are two maven uh, group id info.qq was for cucumber till version 1.2.5 and what we just see it's 1.2.6 right and starting from 2.0 so cucumber has started a new branch starting with the name is io.cucumber okay so make sure all the imports all your imports etc should be from io.cucumber okay fine friends okay so let me close this two tabs okay we'll come here so let's see the first topic of today is parallel executions so earlier if you have ever tried with the ex uh, parallel execution uh, we are facing a lot of problems in cucumber right but now in the latest release of cucumber everything is very very easy and you can very easily run your feature file parallelly okay so make sure we are not running scenarios uh, in parallel we are running the feature okay so one feature completely one feature will run parallel uh, and one thread will will run one dot feature file another thread will run second feature file okay so let's see uh, i will tell you the steps okay so for parallel execution so look here i will tell you the project structure which i have created 
uh, see this is the main okay so there is no code inside this okay so all the codes I have put inside source test Java package name has to be parallel okay so the cucumber uh, people are saying if cucumber will directly pick everything from here okay no need to uh, explicitly tell that this is the uh, uh, you need to run this particular in parallel so everything will be automatically if you are naming it as parallel okay and your feature file will be inside the source test resources and again the folder name is parallel okay so make sure that both the folders names are parallel otherwise you have to do some other settings okay so see there are two feature file okay one and two okay we are going to run these features files in parallel okay so see the first feature file is uh, I named uh, as the alpha one uh, FK is for the flip card feature okay so scenario outline purchase an item from flip card so so what we are doing here is you uh, we open the flip card we enter the flip card login credential user and password we search for something thousand rupee shoes and we purchased it okay so this is the code for that okay so so guys please understand I have not written any code just this is for the demo purposes so simply uh, you can see my uh, step file we have simply added the sys outs here okay so see uh, these are the uh, system uh, step files where we added some sys outs like step one step two step 3 and step 4 okay so in step 1 we have printed the thread name so here I am just uh, or whoever the, uh, whatever the thread is coming here the thread name will get printed here okay so in every step we are printing the thread name okay using this okay everywhere we are just printing the thread and in another and then in another feature this is the second feature this is for the Amazon okay so we are doing something with uh, in Amazon so user open the Amazon user enter the login credential in Amazon okay only two steps are here so for this we have written a, one more Amazon uh, one more step file uh, so again here so I am printing the thread name here okay thread dot current thread dot get name okay using this code the so whatever the thread name is it will get printed here okay fine okay friends okay fine so one more thing we need to add a maven dependency here okay one one of the plugin is show file I hope you have heard about that so let's open the pom.xml if you see uh, I have added see all these are the dependency okay let's uh, see uh, have a look at the dependency first I dot cucumber cucumber Java is required to set up cucumber.j unit is required the normal j unit version is required okay so this is the reporting part will come here later on okay so initially you need only three dependency to run any cucumber project and this is the maven compiler plugin so this is just to make sure that your compiler is uh, running as per the 1.8 okay then this is what i'm talking about so this this particular plugin you need to add here you need to uh, uh, just look at here so it's a maven surefire plugin version is 2.22 or whatever the latest version you can use and parallel here we have written methods okay use unlimited threads is true okay so any number of threads can be used here okay okay fine so that's it nothing else is required so one is the plugin one is the your folder name okay and that's it now we'll go and run it but on this particular project okay before that let me show you the uh, runner okay so runner is inside the this particular uh, package okay where your step files are there okay so so everything will be automatically here okay nothing uh, uh, we we don't need to mention anything for parallel specially okay so this is a standard uh, run uh, cucumber uh, runner okay where we have uh, 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 said that the plugins are default HTML and the JSON plugins we are using for the reporting purpose okay and uh, then the features we have given the path like the parallel okay and the glue glue code so this is mandatory okay you need to give the features and the glue path okay so like that 
okay so you can skip the class path also you can directly give the parallel here also uh, it should run uh, properly okay so that's it nothing much more you go to the maven run your maven command okay so here look at this this again a new feature uh, cucumber.filter.tags earlier there's something cucumber.option kind of thing okay that has been deprecated so this is a new one please note here at the bottom maven clean install hyphen d cucumber.filter.tags equal to double quotes inside and you can give here at the rate your tag accordingly okay friends so i'm running this let's see Is the command here yeah. look here two past two scenarios six steps total okay so you can note here all the flipkart related features here okay this has been run by the pool one thread one see this particular complete feature has been run by this particular thread right and if you on the above side upper side you can see this particular amazon uh, feature file has been run by pool one thread two this is pool one thread one and this is pool one thread two okay so means both the features has been run by different threads okay guys so this is a very very small and easy example you can just try uh, at your side and let me know if you face any problem and running your features in parallel okay friends fine great so now the next topic which we are going to discuss is the reporting in cucumber okay so one of the best and widely used report reporting and very easy to implement i will show you here again go to the palm.xml okay so next topic is just we need to add a dependency and a plugin for this net.masterthought master thought okay so you can google it more about on this so let me open uh, this particular palm.xml yeah this one see the dependency is this is the one dependency you need to add for reporting okay cucumber hyphen reporting so this is by net.master thought okay version has been written uh, here you can uh, see 502 so only one dependency is required and inside the build see there's a build section there's a plugins section inside this tag you need to add uh, this particular plugin just copy paste okay i will give you the code just or you can find it on the internet everywhere it is present so just this particular plugin okay so note down the phase is the verify okay so i uh, hope you know about the different different phases in the maven so if you run verify uh, phase then only your report will get generate okay here we have given the output directory path okay advanced uh, report dot html okay this is the report uh, which we are talking about and this is the cucumber output okay so cucumber is generating a report here see i will tell you from where this path is coming see look at here target cucumber report.json right uh, let me open c in the plugin in this runner if you notice that i have given here json colon target slash cucumber report.json right so report so i'm telling to the cucumber that whenever whenever my test get finished so default default cucumber report should get saved here report.json and the path is inside the target there is a one folder cucumber and inside that report.json okay so this plugin is asking okay from where to read the cucumber results okay so this particular plugin what this plugin is doing is just picking the report.json generated by the cucumber right default report and then converting that report into the html the advanced report dot html the beautiful pie charts with the pie charts okay fine so one more important point we need to run the verify phase okay only then it will get generate okay otherwise it, the report will not get generate okay so let's see 
uh, earlier we have run the install now we have to run the verify okay just to give you a brief idea about the phases if you don't know maven life cycle phases just google it go on this particular link and you will find here see here are the phases okay so validate compile test package verify install and deploy so see so report get generated at verify if you are running the verify or install or deploy verify will run always right but if you are running the package verify will not run okay so this is the style of uh, maven so whenever you're running the upper upper phases all the child phases will get automatically run right so whatever the if you notice we have run the install right so definitely verify has already been run or we can rerun it no issue in that but the report must have already been generated let me go directly to the report so the path is c the path is target inside that target there is a cucumber hyphen report folder should be present and inside that advanced hyphen report dot html so let's go to the target uh, first i will show you the cucumber default reports see these are the cucumber folder you can see here cucumber report dot json inside that report dot j uh, here right report dot json this one this is the cucumber default report which cucumber has generated see this is the report you can't understand anything from here right it's a json difficult to understand uh, what uh, how many tests has been passed how many has been failed so there is one more uh, index.html this is a default again okay we have given all this path in the runner file so where is that open 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 with a browser okay see this is the default report of cucumber see it's very simple plain all the test has been passed fine it's a good report too now we'll, i will show you the beautiful report which i'm talking about so go to the cucumber reports advanced report.html look here these are the all the html you can open any any html all are same just okay let me open any any html here okay open with web browser look okay directly click on the feature see this is the report i'm talking about okay so so actually the management people only need the pie chart right if you show them this particular pie chart they will become happy even if your test cases are failing i'm telling you just try it okay see beautiful so it's showing everything all the features on one side how many uh, how many has uh, step has been passed field zero everything is passed okay let's click on this particular uh, feature so you can see all the detail here see all the steps will come here the timing will come here everything so it's a beautiful right tag wise also you can sort out see tag wise at the rate amazon at the rate flipkart all the test cases have been passed so you can just play around this uh, with this particular report see it's very very detailed very detailed okay failure is zero that's why nothing is coming here okay friends so hope uh, you enjoyed this particular report and, and this is my one of the favorite report okay so now the next topic is a bit difficult i need to explain you very slowly very slowly so let me finish this particular uh, topic here and in the next chapter we'll go through all those topics okay thank you friends thank you for watching this particular uh, chapter have a good day